Yo, 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 it's the kid, 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 man. We're here, we're here, we're here for this new thing called League Review, man. League Review. Now we're doing Syria. Syria, man. Can they do it? Can they do it? Napoli. Seven games played, seven wins, zero draws, zero losses, 18 goals scored, three goals conceded, 21 points. Here's the thing, because I was even thinking about it before I did this. The sooner Napoli lose a game, the better. They're not winning every single game this season. That's not happening. It's just not going to happen. So what Napoli, what, Nap what I want to see from Napoli is when they lose, how do they react? Because when I see stuff like this, when that team finally takes a loss, then it's a loss, draw, loss, draw, then they just go out of their elements. So Napoli have to realize that we're not going to win every single game. So they must know that when we do face adversity, how are we going to react? But it's a great start to the season. But guys, this is super early. It's super early. So I'm not even putting Napoli as... I don't think Napoli are, are going to win. I think they could say what's up. Because I, I think Spalletti is a very good manager. He's a very good, solid manager. You know, he did solid stuff with, 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 with Inter Milan. And I think he was for Roma as well. But my thing as well is Osime, man. It has been a long time since Nigeria have had a striker this good. And I'll be real with you. See, for me, I don't think I've been an excited for a Nigerian striker like this since Amunike. I don't know how many of you know Amunike, who actually went to, was transferred to Barcelona, but I think he had like a knee injury and didn't say what's up. I think that was the last truly amazing striker they had. Kind of one call, I wouldn't call him kind of a striker. I would call him like a support striker. You know, he wasn't really a striker striker. It was more like a, a, a support striker, based on just how skillful he was. But Sima is a guy where, no, this is a striker forward. And he won the, the, he won the penalty. Shot on the Fiorentina game, but was, was unlucky with, with, with the penalty. And he, he just caused so many issues. He even did another run as well, which should have even led to another goal. But I think first season, he was sort of feeling himself and everything. But he, this season, he's been amazing. So my thing is, is it just Osime finally saying what's up, or is it Spalletti? Is Spalletti doing something that Gattuso wasn't doing? But for me, as a Nigerian Spalletti, I thank you, thank you, thank you, man, because he's coming into great form just in time for the AFCON in January, man. But my thing is, I'll be real with you, I'm looking at other teams, I'm looking at Milan, Inter, Roma. Osime might actually be one of, in terms of how he's playing right now, one of the deadliest strikers in the Serie A. Having an amazing striker doesn't mean that you will win a league. Look at the amount of goals that Kane scores or Aubameyang scores. Those guys never won the league. It helps. If you just have a really good striker, because Anapoli will face adversity. So when they face adversity, having just a really good forward, which is what made Drogba so good, it's always good to have it. So you know that, man, 1-1, one, one, struggle, cross, cross, cross. You just get something. And that really good striker, he just sniffs it. Because that striker knows that my team needs me now. 1-1, one, one, 79 minutes, 80, 81, 82, fumble, ricochet something, just get that ball in that net, and that's what, what Osimhen could do. So, let's see what Napoli does, man. Milan, I'm wearing the Milan jersey, man. This is actually a shout-out to my amigo, so I who gave this one. This is a, he gave me a Gattuso jersey, man. So, my, my, I want to wear Milan. Milan, wow, I, th I think they're back. I think they're back, and I'm going to say shout-out to, to Hazem. Shout-out to also Milan Messenger as well, what up, my Milan Messenger? But shout-out to Hazem for the, uh, the faith. He had a Milan because I we had a discussion that oh, it's gonna take like okay like how long will it be to Milan managed to say what's up I had 10 years 15 years 20 years all these years I think they are ahead of schedule and I think Pioli has made things ahead of schedule I don't because I don't think they were supposed to finish second last season you know I don't think they were supposed to finish second last last season so especially ahead of Atlanta and Juventus and the fact that they finished ahead of Juve and Napoli just showed you that Pioli has done an amazing job he's done an absolutely amazing job man and what is key now is that signing of Manuel huge huge that is a quality keeper who he's going to take over Loris after Loris retires for sure um the what, what was it called? I call him um, the um, baby, basically baby Pielo Tonali. Obviously, him getting that gene there, man. And bro, this kid, you need guys to see about this kid, um, Rafael Leal, Portuguese, because I think he played in the under 21 
um, for Portugal. Really, really good player who scored a fantastic goal, man. So my thing is that you're looking at these guys, man, and they're looking good. They're looking good. These guys are looking real good. And my thing is, Juve are always still a threat. But if these guys, especially with Ibrahimovic, who drinks from the fountain of youth, Milan have a real opportunity. Because we don't know how it's going to go. But if it was, if, if let's say, there are five games to go and it's between Milan and Napoli, my money's on Milan. Now, people say, okay, because <laughs> choke is a, is, is a hard word, but this is hashtag honesty. Napoli choked last season in not getting top four. They, they choked. It was right there. <laughs> you know, we had a narrative right there of Juve being in, whoa, 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 but they choked. So I will put my money on, if it's between Milan and Napoli, my money is on, is on Milan. So, but for me, I think the MVP here is, is purely. Milan have a, they have a good team. They have good players. I mean, Kessie is a real good quality player. I really, really like him. Um, Rebic, quality player, player as well. Um, Brahimi, Diaz, quality player. I think from um, Real. They are, they are quality players here. But I still say we have to give the dog to Pioli. Because I believe that there are better squads and better teams based on individuals than Milan. Not saying that Milan are, are trash, but I just think that there are better t players, individuals better. But what it just shows is that it doesn't matter whether you have better individuals, it's how you use the individuals that, that you have. All that matters is the whole, which is what makes football amazing. Why we love football so much is the, the better quit, the better players don't always win. It's a, who is the better team and how do you execute your plan. So, yeah, Mansu Milan, 19 points, only two points behind Napoli right now. They are, they are right in there. And that's game again, and Atlanta are a tough team. And they, were, and they were actually 3 0 ahead. So it's good that they actually managed to keep 3 2. And on a side note, I'm happy for tomorrow, man. I'm so happy for tomorrow because for me, this is a guy who was disregarded at Chelsea un unfairly. People didn't really be be believe in him. And th as a defender, there is no better, maybe apart from Beckham Ball, there's no better dub to be given than to be given a dub by Paolo Maldini. So that Paolo Maldini said, yo, I'm going to take you under my wing. And he's right now... Because remember, I think it was in general. So far, in such a short space of time, he's already now part of the store. Because really, it's between him, Romagnoli, and Simon Kea as who takes the defender's position. I felt like he's already, as a young kid, already managed to say what's up. I think it's huge. And I think he even won a call-up to the England national team. He's 23. He's going to be 24 on the 19th of December. So he's a, he's, he's a young kid, man. He's a young kid. Um, Inter Milan. You see, this was always going to be a very tough season for, for Inter Milan. It was always going to be a very, very tough season for these dudes. Because it was a very difficult summer. It was a very, very difficult summer. But, I think Ed Injeko is trying to say that anything that... Um, Lukaku can do, I can do better. And Jekyll was going to be like, don't worry guys, me and Lazaro, we can do the same thing. And we can say what's up. You see, as I said about Milan, I feel that Inter's team, man for man, is better than AC Milan. And what we could see, because we, we, I mean, we sort of didn't really see, because even when we were there, I feel, now, obviously, I want to, I'm want i biased in the sense of Osima, I want Osima to, to say what's up and everything, but I do believe that we could be seeing a Milan title race between these, these two guys. So between AC Milan and Inter, we could be, we, it, could, it, could, it could be deep. Obviously, Inter, 17 points, Milan, 19 points, because I just think that Inter, there's so much quality there. You know, from, um, oh gosh, what's, I always forgot this guy's name, what's his name? Um, the guy from, wait, let me, let me pull this up, let me pull this up. Like, Skriniar. For me, I think Skriniar is one of the best. As far as just defending goes, one of the best defenders in the world. Like, Skriniar is an amazing defender. You already know how good Brozovic is. You already know how good Papa Barella is. Bringing in Korea as well. They have quality. So, my thing is that if Simone Inzaghi can just get this team good and get them flowing, they are probably the best team, man for man, in the league. Probably. Man for man in the league. Surin, this now falls on Simone Inzaghi. Can he now take up this team that Conte had and still manage to make them say, what's up, man? So, um, 
it's going to be fascinating, but I think what's going to be very key is the Jekyll, Latoro back and forth. Like if they can see what's up in that back and forth, that's going to be huge. Um, your boy's Roma. Your boy's Roma, man. Um, going back to winning ways, getting that, after, because after they lost that Roma, Roma derby to Lazio, um, beating Empoli 2-0, man. And look, man, and I think a lot of guys, I think, because I saw some, I think Roma posted it on their accounts. Like, they had a picture of Tam and said, man, rates his performance. This guy's quality. So, again, guy that wasn't appreciated at Chelsea. I'm so happy that Tammy is appreciated. Go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. Rated. So, my thing is, you say to yourself that, can Uncle Mu... I don't think Mourinho can win this league. Top four is possible. I don't think he can win this league. Now, if he wins this league, I think we have to keep, we have to say... Dot like a slight dot because I just don't think that there is. I don't think the team man for man is as good as Inter Milan Napoli. Napoli Milan Inter are, are just better, they have better squads, better teams, and they are far more seasoned in what they're about. I just don't think that Mourinho's team can say what's up to those guys. So if Mourinho can still say what's up with these guys, it's gonna be huge. And for Tammy, now if Tammy can come in and win a league with these guys in his first season, I think that, that would be freaking massive, man. So it remains to be seen. You just have to just see what your boy Uncle Mu can do. But I don't think he can. If he does, that's done. That is done. Juventus. <sighs> Things change. Things change. I said no Cristiano to save you. This is a weaker team that you left, Allegri. I was like, this, you're, 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 you're going to struggle. And this will be a tough season for Juventus. It takes, sometimes it takes like one game. It takes like one game. I do believe that. Um, basically, I do, basically, I do believe that that game that, that I, I believe that that game that they had against um, Sampdoria was huge. That game was so, but really, I think a turning point for you it could be that Chelsea win. <laughs> so just like how Chelsea gave us some life last season, was it? I think or was it season before? I think, well, yeah, last, last season. I think Chelsea may have given you their life. I think you, the manner in which they won and against a team who people thought were favorites to win, I think they have given you the that confidence of we're not gonna go, we're not gonna get back into our one zero bag. You know, we're gonna get back into that a one zero bag and say what's up, just grind out with and that is what Allegri was an expert at doing. Just get the win. Get the win. one zero two one one zero two one one zero two one and just knew how to manage games to go ahead and can get that win. So my thing is I won't sleep on Juventus. Cause one part of me says no Cristiano, team is weaker. I don't think that they can last the the, the distance with Milan, Inter, maybe not Napoli, but not with Milan and Inter. But I think Allegri is slightly overrated. He's a very good match, but I think he's slightly overrated. But I still respect his qualities. So for you, then, hopefully, I think the Dybala's injury is not that much of a long term injury. So as long as they can get Dybala back quick, quickly, your boy Locatelli can keep on saying what's up and they can keep on being that kind of big. They can use their experience to come remember guys it's all about winning so if they can just use their experience to grind out wins win 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 it's baby steps look left look right so Juve could just be near the top of the table because what you may have that inter milan napoli don't have his experience like from Kellini, bonucci all these kind of guys they have experience in winning this league multiple times. Multiple times. So, and that's, that is huge. That is huge. When you're so used to winning and you know what it takes to navigate this marathon called a league season, that is a huge thing further in your cap. So, I've already said this right now, guys. Serie is going to be the most exciting league this season, by far. By far. It is going to be the most exciting league this, this season. And it's going to be a situation where you don't know what's going to happen. Because I generally believe that Napoli could win it, Milan could win it. And this is why it's so beautiful that there isn't a clear winner. 
So let's see what Juve do because Juve could now come into the mix and maybe just say, let's move on, reverse back to, 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 to hype. I'll be sh if Allegri wins this Serie A title, I'm going to give him some kudos. And especially without Cristiano's goals, because I've because for me I thought no, no, you made a big mistake, letting Cristiano go, and all he got was Logo Locatelli throw only fans. So if they're able to say what's up, without the use of your boy Cristiano's goals, and he still managed to make them win this league, that's a feather in his cap, man. But we have to just wait and seek, man. And so like the bid, like the bid, like the vid, subscribe if you're new, comment below, and I'll see you. Next time, stay black, one love.